I saw that it is a lack of documentation for this second mass wave. And uh, since living in Astoria, and since teaching at Queens, which concentrates a very large number of Americans with Greek descent, the American-born Greeks, they don't know the history of this uh, second uh, mass wave. And I thought it is, it is a good chance now to tell the history of uh, their uh, parents' immigration uh, experience. Εγώ είμαι από την Αστορία, οι γονείς μου είναι Έλληνες, ήρθαν εδώ πριν 27 χρόνια νομίζω και γεννήθηκαν στα Μέγαρα. Τώρα έχω δύο αδέλφια που γεννήθηκαν και αυτοί στα Μέγαρα και είμαι η μόνη που γεννήθηκα στην Αστορία, στη Νέα Υόρκη. Είμαι 20 χρον... 21 χρονών. It is a great need to have the direct narrative of, of, um, of the particular uh, members of an ethnic group and that gives it uh, a stronger documentation. After all, we live at the age um, of, um, of communication and, and the image is very dominant. I think that given what the immigrant population who came in the 70s had, they did amazing things. The, the institutions that they created um, with the resources that they had at the time were really something to, uh, remarkable to admire. Um, but that being said, um, us as a new generation, having a whole different uh, series of experiences and resources of our own, I think we could do a lot uh, more than they had done. And that it's kind of our responsibility and um, the direction that we have to go in is to further that. And that's our job, to further it and to create even more opportunities uh, for the Greek community. To document the untold story of the immigrant generation, the people who created Astoria. Astoria, it is the symbol of Greek immigration uh, in, in modern times uh, in, in, in the States. And also to have uh, a link uh, to continuity. So I want to create an archive that will help American-born Greeks to realize their own history and, and eventually develop Greek-American studies.